Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for joining us uh, for Lunchtime with Lord, our daily devotion on this Thursday. And uh, certainly it's dreary outside, rainy, uh, but hopefully, like the old song uh, says, there's sunshine in your soul today uh, because of Christ. So hopefully uh, it's bright on the inside, even though it is dreary on the outside. Um, and so God is good, even on rainy days. And so thank you for tuning in today. And we're going to find our daily devotion today from Acts chapter number 15 in verse number 26. And I'll just give you a little bit of background before we read the verse. Um, uh, in this particular portion of Scripture in the book of Acts, many of you may recall that Jerusalem conference that uh, uh, that they had met. And what the main subject about uh, at that conference that they covered was uh, dealing with those that were insistent on saying that keeping the law was uh, required for salvation. And so they met at Jerusalem uh, to discuss this uh, th this matter. And, uh, the, of course, we they reach, uh, reached a decision and uh, sent out Paul and Barnabas to let others know of their decision, of course, and, uh, of course, what the Word of God said, that it's by grace and grace alone that the keeping of the law does not uh, save a person. And uh, part of what we're going to read today is part of the letter that was sent uh, with these uh, two of to Paul and Barnabas, a letter of recommendation for them. And I just want to call draw your attention to two things from this verse. Uh, it, and it's about Paul and Barnabas. But notice in Acts chapter 15 and verse number 26, this is, remember, this is part of that recommendation letter that was sent with Paul and Barnabas that they, as they went back to tell the churches what the result of this, this conference was at Jerusalem. And so this letter of recommendation had this to say about Paul and Barnabas. Verse, verse number 26, Men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Men that have hazarded their lives for uh, for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's a couple things that I want to call your attention to about Paul and Barnabas just from this verse. First of all, we can see their dedication. The Bible said that they were men that have hazarded, hazarded uh, their lives. Uh, they put their lives at risk. They were so dedicated. Their, their lives were so dedicated uh, that they were willing to uh, put their life on the line. And uh, what dedication, could there be any greater dedication than one that would uh, be willing to put their life on the line for whatever it is, whatever cause, whatever it is that they're dedicated to? And uh, I, w I was, I think it was yesterday or perhaps the, uh, it was this week, maybe just a couple days ago, yesterday, the day before, I was reading an article and uh, about uh, church decline, about uh, church attendance uh, on the decline, and post uh, COVID, uh, what it looks like. And uh, that article said most churches uh, that they had seen, uh, large churches were oper operating about sixty percent of what they were before. Uh, smaller churches about eighty, and uh, we at First Baptist are probably in between that somewhere on an average. And it said. There was a couple few things about that in uh, church attendance. One, uh, the regularity of getting people back. Uh, some people may be back, but they're not be they may not be back as frequently as they were prior to COVID. Yet, in other words, they may have been here every week uh, before COVID, and now they may be here two out of four. And uh, when you think of that. Uh, that that would make your averages go way down in half if everybody was like that. And then it made another uh, point that was was really uh, hit home, and, and, and I want to draw it, uh, make an application to our verse today about dedication. It said, as some of the older saints uh, go on to heaven, uh, the younger ones are not as faithful in a in their frequency of attending church. In other words, if the older saint uh, was here every week, the uh, the other the younger uh, younger Christian uh, may come half that. And it said so to get the same numbers, you would have to for every elder saint that passed away and went on to heaven, uh, graduated to heaven, they would have to be to keep the same numbers. You'd have to replace them with two younger ones. 
that would show up because they would show up half the time. I hope you get what I'm saying. And I said all that to say this, uh, we need to be dedicated to the Lord. Here we see these two people, Paul and Barnabas, that were dedicated to the point in their lives, to the point of their life that they were willing to put their life on the line. Uh, what great dedication. And so uh, as we come uh, to serving the Lord in these last days, and by the way, I believe we're living in the last days. If you do not believe we're living in the last days, turn on the news, get in your Bible. We're living in those last days. We're seeing Bible prophecy uh, began to unfold. Now, I'm not saying Christ is coming tomorrow. He could come today. I don't know. The Bible says no man knoweth the hour or the day that Jesus Christ will come back. But when we see the things that are moving, we see players in our uh, countries become players in, in things and begin to be on the move like Russia and like China. Uh, those are in Bible prophecy. Then when you see... Uh, uh, how weak we are as United States. And by the way, uh, it is very hard to find the United States in end time prophecy, very hard to uh, see us as a major player. When you see those things begin to, to move, it, we think uh, it reminds us that Jesus Christ is coming soon. And so uh, as the Bible says, as, the, as you see the day approaching, as you see the day approaching, one day Jesus coming back, he said, uh, he said, for not forsaking the sending thyself together, and so much the more as you see the day approaching, that day approaching, uh, Jesus Christ coming. Oh, we need to be dedicated. We need to be dedicated to the Lord in these days. And, uh, and so uh, the, in America, uh, there's so many that it, have a problem with uh, giving up uh, pleasure on a Sunday uh, the, let alone giving, putting their life on the line for, for Christ. But Paul and Barnabas, they, they were men that hazarded their own lives. That's the level of dedication that they had to their Savior. Now, so we see dedication. Now, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, something that's greater than de dedication, and it's devotion. Devotion is what we're dedicated to. And notice who they were dedicated to. We've already mentioned it. You know it, but verse 26 says, Men that have hazarded their lives, that's dedication. Here's the devotion, what they, who they were devoted to or who they were dedicated to for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. There's a lot of people that risk their life, put their life on the line of, for things that they're dedicated to. I mean, they, they might be involved in some, you know, dangerous hobby, uh, you know, uh, and they're willing to do that. Uh, they may be involved in some kind of sin that uh, uh, that they're willing to, really hazard their life, whether it be drinking and driving and, and so forth and so on. But uh, Paul and Barnabas risked their lives, their dedication, their devotion was to Christ. We're, here's what we're willing to risk our lives for really reveals our values. What really reveals our values. Those who risk their life for worldly pleasure, worldly achievements, worldly things, uh, it really reveals their character. But those that have risked their life for Christ uh, uh, shows a uh, shows a sense of value, really, in eternity. And so, where where's our devotion? Who where's our devotion line? Where's our what's the level of dedication that we have right now? Where we're at as believers? Let me ask you this, and it may be a pointed question. That's okay. Uh, and you say, well, you 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 would ask this question over video. Wouldn't ask it if I was in the room with you. No, I'd ask it then as well. If you've been uh, in 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 person when I preached, you, you, you would know that I would ask this to an audience and not just behind the camera. Let me ask you this, and it may be a pointed question. It may, may be a convicting question. That's okay. Where's your level of dedication compared to before COVID? Where's it at? Where's your level of dedication to the Lord before COVID versus, it, versus where it is today? Here was a man that was willing to, to risk their lives forever for Christ. For Christ. Christ is everything. Christ means everything. They were dedicated, but more than dedication is their devotion. Devotion is who we're dedicated to. And they were dedicated to, the, of course, the greatest one, the Lord Jesus Christ. They were devoted to him. What is it that keeps us from being that level of de uh, devoted or dedicated uh, to Christ? What is it in our lives? What is it in our life that we put our dedication in? Who is it in our life that we're devoted to? May I say to you today, it's time for believers in these last days to get dedicated again to Christ, to, to be devoted to the Lord. He, he, the Bible says we love him because he first loved us. It's time to fall in love with Jesus Christ again. 
and get back to serving him and get back to witnessing and get back to living our lives for the Lord Jesus Christ in faith, trusting him. It's time. It's, it's past time. It's past time. May I, may I just encourage you? May I, may I beseech you? May I beg you to let's get dedicated to the Lord. Let's be devoted to the Lord in these last days. Let the world see what's most important to us and who our faith is in. Let's be dedicated to Christ. Hey, I didn't mean to get preachy to you today, but hey, I, I, these things burden me greatly. Oh, it, it burdens me uh, to my core that folks would just get back to being dedicated to Christ again. The world's watching. The world's watching me. The world's watching you. And let's be the light and the salt that we should be and are commanded to be in these last days because Jesus is coming very soon. And I believe with all my heart. Hey, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day today on this Thursday. And there's no greater one to be devoted to or greater cause to be dedicated to the name of the Lord, lovely Lord Jesus Christ. If you could like and share our video, comment, let us know who's been watching. And Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow on Friday's edition of Lunchtime with Lord God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday.